Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And guys, you ever just have a day where like everything you say just, it's like word vomit. Literally every single intro I have done, I just, I can't actually say words. And when I do, they don't make sense. I'm like, hey guys, what's up? Cat puke. No, like it just, it doesn't go together. So I apologize if something weird is like, you know, cosmically confusing in my brain today. Um, because you know, we're just gonna be talking about makeup. It's a good fun, fresh time per use. And today is no different because we have a ton of new little goodies from Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro, Pro Beauty, Pro Revolution, whatever whatever of the like 72 names they have these days that's what we're talking about because when i was on the alta website like two ish weeks ago they had recently come out with a ton of stuff there were like four primers new powders bronzers little liquid blushes like so so much stuff that i've been wanting to look at so i picked it up of course this is how this always goes like picked it up i'm super excited i plan out my filming schedule i'm gonna film this video and then they released a ton of stuff from their new cannabis sativa seed oil line and i would be lying if i said i didn't want to test every single thing but because i ordered this like a week and a half two weeks ago um i don't have any of that because it wasn't out yet um so i apologize if that's why you are here so moral of the story guys basically i have a bunch of makeup makeup revolution revolution pro pro something inexpensive we're talking about it we're testing it out we're gonna see if it's good if it's not if it's hot if it should just go in that garbage can and that's what we're doing now for primers i picked up two of their new ones here this one is the coconut dream hydrating primer with vitamin c and e it looks like it's just gonna be your basic hydrating primer with coconut and uh, for this one i picked up strawberry whip and this is actually a pore blurring primer with vitamin C and E and both of these actually have really good reviews I mean obviously there's not a ton of reviews but they're both sitting with five stars this one has one review this one has two reviews so at least a couple people like them and we're gonna apply them to our face okay so here is the hydrating one with coconut definitely has a nice light little coconut scent it's not too bad not too overwhelming <sighs> Smells actually really nice. You know what? I wonder if this is supposed to be a dupe for the uh, Too Faced, what is that? The Too Faced Hangover RX line. That's also a coconut infused type brand. And I wonder if this is supposed to be their dupe for that because y'all know Makeup Revolution be making dupes like their water. But I think for applying this one, I'm going to like keep it down here to start and then pull it up toward the nose, just like the leftovers. Same with the chin and the lip area. Cause I don't want to go in and really like apply a ton of it to that area if it's super hydrating. Oh my gosh, that feels so nice. <gasps> oh wow, like that literally just sank in like a lotion, but like a slightly thicker kind of lotion. Oh, that feels so good on the skin. Now on the other side here, we're gonna grab the iHeart Revolution Strawberry Whip Pore Blurring Primer and see how this one goes. Okay, this one definitely has more of like a beige kind of consistency to it. You can see it right there. I feel like this is going to be one of those a little goes a long way type situations because it does, ooh. Oh, it's oh my god, it actually does kind of smell like like imitation strawberry. Not like real strawberry, okay? Like let's not get crazy. But it has like that really nice almost like fruity candy kind of smell. It smells really good. And it does have a nice blurring effect. I was just putting some over the wrinkles on my palm right here. And it has a nice light blurring kind of silicone dimethicone feel to it, which is nice. Um, I definitely think this is the type of product that's going to do better over my T-zone. So it'll actually be nice to have this um, against this area versus the other one that's more hydrating. So I'm going to take this one and kind of concentrate it and press it in to this area, like up onto the cheekbone and on the forehead. And then kind of lightly bring it down onto the rest of the face, like right down and through here. Just to really work it into those pores. Honestly, both sides are just a really nice light in between for what they're trying to do. Like it's nice and lightly pore filling. It's nice and lightly hydrating, but nothing too much and nothing feels heavy, which is really nice too. Um, hello guys. They sent me a friggin' goodie bag. Hello. We need to look in here right away. I didn't buy this. It just came for free with the package. Hello. Can I come in? Okay. So we have their focus and fix eyebrow shaping kit. We have a flawless foils little kit here. And what is this? A matte blush, nice and bright, but super cute. This is a ultra strobe stick. I've seen these, never played with the one. We have a lipstick in what looks like, oh wow, like a 90s brown. Ooh, girl, tell me that is not my color. I would so wear that. And this is a random eyeshadow palette with some of the ugliest colors I've ever seen. <laughs> 
right guys, so I went ahead, I played with some samples, I let the primer sink and settle, and now it's time for foundation and concealer. And I don't really have anything that's like new, new from them that was released with all of this other stuff. So I'm gonna go in with this little guy, and this is their Re Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I'm just gonna take this right here. This is in the darker of the two shades I have in F7. And I am going to take and apply that all over the face with my Fenty foundation brush. Also, by the way, if you missed my update on the Found Explosion of 2019, I did do a video and tell you guys, you know, what foundations were my favorite, why, how I like to wear them, all of that good stuff, and I'll link that video right up there if and you're curious. And then after that, I'm gonna go in here with my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in 320 Porcelain and shape out the face. All right, now next up to set the face, we're gonna grab this from I Heart Revolution, and this is their Coconut Baking Powder, retailing for $7, available in four shades. I have the shade Coconut, but it also does come in Banana, Peach, and chocolate banana so there's a nice little shade range there and here is the little packaging I think it's actually really cute the way it's presented and it looks like it's a slightly off-white color you can see here is the powder here is the lid so it's just slightly off-white which hopefully will help with any sort of a white cast that we get all right so I went ahead and I shook a little out into the lid and I think to use this I'm going to start off by applying just a little bit of it under the eyes and like onto the t-zone per usual and we'll kind of go from there once I figure out what the consistency is Okay, so with this lightly applied under the eyes and all over the face I was just kind of feeling the consistency of it and this is a really nice light finely milled powder But it does look like the type that packs together really easily kind of like if you were to stick your finger in like a Slightly damp um, like maybe like a powdered sugar or something like that Like it's nice and light and fluffy and refined But it does have a level of pack to it to where when you stick your finger in it It all kind of collects and does stick to you now Real quick while that's baking on the face I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows here with that free little focus and fix eyebrow shaping kit it looks like this is in medium dark and I'm gonna grab my little morphe js7 and do my brows real quick all right so brows are done and just as a random side note I think the kits okay like is it something I would pay money for no uh, but because it was free I'm not mad at it now let's go ahead and move on and dust away some bake shall we to kind of see what's going on under these eyeballs and I'm gonna start off here and just kind of lightly dust it away from the under eyes first that's the area that I think I'm like mainly concerned about guys do you see my under eyes like my face where I had that powder on camera this is the definition of flashback on camera it looks ghostly white and in real life it literally dusted away to basically nothing Wow, don't know that I love that. Guys, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I'm so glad that I did these in the order I did them in because next up I have these adorable little liquid blushes and I specifically did the powder because I was like, Ugh, like if there's flashback and I go in with this liquid blush, it is going to stick to my cheek and create the most ghostly pink cheek situation that I could possibly imagine and I did not want that. So you know what? It looks a little crazy, but what we're gonna do is leave it there. I'm just gonna let it set and hopefully if a little bit of it can like sink into my skin maybe it'll dissipate just a freckle and we're going to move on like I said to these little liquid blushes right here these are ten dollars a piece it looks like there are three shades and I have two of them I have bliss and peaches and these have no reviews yet so let's go ahead and kind of see what we have so this one is in the shade bliss and it's like the lightest kind of mauvey pink oh I love that okay and I like this applicator it's like a doe foot so you can kind of like doot 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 that's really really pretty and then this is the other shade we have here in peaches you can definitely see it's a lot brighter than the other shade this one is much more of like a subdued mauve this one to me is more of like an apricot kind of color and I think we're just gonna put one on each cheek because why not so I'm gonna start off here with peaches and I am going to just kind of dot this like right in this region mainly because I don't exactly know what I'm working with and I'm gonna grab this little brush right here this is the it cosmetics skin smoothing complexion brush and I am just going to lightly kind of tap that into the skin <gasps> wow do I love that color oh my goodness okay I think it's a really nice light type moment I'm so glad I didn't put that white powder on after this oh my god it would have looked so bad I really like that and it does look nice and light on the skin I'm gonna see if I can build it up just a freckle just to give me a little bit more color here. Now on the other side, I'm going to take the same brush. I just lightly kind of wiped it off on my cloth here and I am going to work this one into the skin as well, same way. 
this one, the mauve toned one in Bliss, I would use this on like more of a subdued kind of makeup day. And I would use peaches on like a nice bright, like I want a kind of a minimalistic look. That's what I would use peaches for because it's nice and it's bright and it gives me more of a brightened cheek. Whereas this one gives me more of like a, I'm slightly sophisticated, I'm doing my makeup, I'm getting kind of fancy. Like for me, I love both and I would totally use both and I love the way that they sit on the skin. Okay, so real quick, I do need to figure out a way to kind of like veil and like fix this white situation. So I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Ghost Palette here. I'll go ahead and link my full review up top if you haven't seen it yet. But I'm gonna mix these two colors together. And normally I would not add something like this into a more like affordable face video, but I need a way to like set and veil this area. And I was trying to think of how in the hell I'm gonna get rid of this cast. And this is the only thing I could come up with because it has, if I mix these two together here, like a nice light amount of color, and it'll also smooth out the skin and hopefully it'll take away some of that weird white casty situation I have going on. Okay, I think that that helped a little bit diffuse the brightness, but like, can you still see how obnoxious that looks? Like, what is going on? Oh my God, Ugh, that powder, no thank you. Okay, so for bronzer, I picked up this little guy, which looks kind of promising. This is in the shade Long Weekend, and this is their Bronzer Reloaded. It is $6, and it has currently um, five out of five stars with two reviews. And it does say that this is supposed to have a little bit of a glow to it, and it is available in three shades. So I'm gonna go ahead, first of all, here and swatch it. Now, I picked up the middle tone shade um, because the other one didn't look quite right and neither does this one. What the hell is up with these shades? Oh, I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Actually, I do know how I feel. I feel nervous. Go in here with my It Cosmetics Flawless uh, Powder Number 202 brush and I'm just going to lightly kind of flip through there very technical term. And I'm going to dust off as much as I can because I'm real nervous that I'm going to put actual terracotta orange on my face. Um, and I'm just going to lightly kind of bronze up the skin. And when I say lightly, I mean I am lightly putting this on my face because it looks like it could go real bad real fast. That's all right. It doesn't matter if we look like a road cone, honey. We're still going to hit that Dorito Cheeto cupcake region. Yes, we are. All right. So on and applied, I have to be honest, I don't think that it's necessarily right for me. And I don't even think it's the undertone I don't love. I'm pretty sure it's the shimmer because the shimmer, when I applied it to my face, it's literally emphasizing all of my texture, like every single piece of it. Honestly, the only thing that would do that to me in that way would be a shimmer. And I think it could just be that the shimmer in here isn't super refined. So it's not like when you take like the hourglass palette and you put that on your face, like that's really refined, very ambient, very finely milled pressed powder. And this one isn't that. This is just a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more granular. So it does emphasize pores and texture and that sort of thing. So I don't know that I love that one, but moving on to blush, I'm so excited because Look at how cute this is! Guys, it has sprinkles! According to the Ulta website, it looks like they came out with three different versions of this, and they are $7 a piece, and I grabbed it in, which one here? Ice Cream Sunday, perhaps? Yes, Ice Cream Sunday. And there they are. I just watched them across the palm of my hand. They are really super beautiful and like highly reflective. I don't think that I would call any of these a blush. To me, these are all highlights. Because I'm already shining like a little Christmas ornament, I might as well just grab that little fluffy um, JHO6 brush here. And I'm going to take that blush topper, like really sparkly shade. And I am going to lightly apply it to both cheeks because why not? I am taking just a little bit and blending it onto the forehead like I normally would. I'm just gonna keep trying to conceal that whiteness really is what we're doing. <laughs> okay, and for me, this one is just like the bronzer. I don't think it's bad. I think the problem is that it's really, really textured and not finely milled at all. So even the blush, like the topper right here that I just applied so, so lightly, as I'm applying it, because it's not finely milled or reduced down, it just emphasizes everything. Now, real quick, just because my face needs it, I am gonna give myself a little hit of the Morphe Prep and Set just to hopefully settle down a little bit of that shimmeriness that I'm getting from the blush and the bronzer and the powder. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the powder didn't make me shimmery. The powdery made me overly matte and obnoxiously flashbacky. Oh my god, that powder looks so bad too. Like literally, all of my smile lines. Oh my god, bleh, this powder. The powder is a no. Okay, the powder is a no. Also, real quick, girl can't focus. I need some brow gel. Oh my word, do I need some brow gel? All right now, going in next to eyes, I picked up these little things right here. These are from Makeup Revolution, and these are their eye glistening duos, and they are ten dollars a piece. Currently sitting really nice on the reviews. It looks like four and a half out of five stars with twenty five reviews. Okay, so these two right here are from Yours Truly. It has a really nice purple glitter to it, and then this almost like peachy pink like duo 
chrome iridescent moment right here. I really like those. Those are super pretty. Okay, so Adored by You is the other one that I have, and it's not my favorite. I think that the solid side right here is really beautiful. It's like a nice kind of muted pink metallic sheen, but this one right here, the glittery type shade, is a little bit lackluster, like on camera. I think it looks really pretty. I think for application, I'm going to do this like I normally would. I'm going to grab a little bit of my CoverGirl concealer here and I'm going to just as a base give myself some of that and then also just because it's right in front of me I am going to set the lid and I'm just going to do that with this bone colored shade out of the um Huda light nude palette which I did do a full review on the collection which I'll link up there and I think the way I want to do this is I'm going to go in here with the yours truly duo and I'm going to apply apply the metallic shade here. Now the only thing to keep in mind is that if you're playing with this duo, this metallic side that I'm using right here is incredibly sheer. So as I am building it up, it's quite literally dissipating and I'm having to go in with several layers to build it up. And now that I have it a little bit more built up, I'm just gonna leave it right there. Like you can barely see that and that's not because you're far away. That's just because of how sheer this is. But I wanna really let that one dry down. So now I'm gonna go in with with the really pretty purple glitter part and I'm gonna put that in the center of my lid all right so it's pretty but like I also thought this side was going to have a little bit more power to it because in swatch this side was way more impactful and I really can't get it to like build up it seems like what is happening here okay so literally everyone in the comments here loved it like on their on the um Ulta website and I cannot get that to layer up on top of each other and the only thing I can think of is that I laid down a base of makeup like a an eyeshadow base which normally I would do anyways and for whatever reason it's just not working out for me I want to try a little something different I'm gonna actually remove the base makeup that I laid down here and see if I can make it work with just nothing on my lids. Like maybe that's the trick. So we're going in with the foil first and I'm just applying it to my bare lid. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave that set there. You can definitely see there's a nice little like shimmer glimmer moment happening. Um, and I wanna let that dry down a little bit more. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> like what? Why is this not working for me? Like literally everybody on the internet loves this. Why can't I make it work? Guys, what am I doing wrong? It says in the directions, just swipe it on. Just put on the no mask glitter glue. It's easy. It's so great and I'm telling you guys, okay, I'm swiping. I'm swiping and I'm swiping no swiping and it still ain't working <laughs> All right, so first of all, here's the deal My eyelids are very irritated at the moment because this is an actual glitter and it's an actual like aggressive like glitter glitter So my eyelids hurt. So, you know, this has been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun But like I'm done So I'm gonna remove this and uh, just put nothing on my eyes and then we'll go from there All right So from here as you can tell I went ahead and I moved the camera back out because I want to go ahead spray the face and play around with some highlights. So let's go ahead, set the face again with the Morphe. Now moving on to highlight, I have this little guy right here and this is $6 and this is their Makeup Revolution Highlight Reloaded and this is in the shade Just My Type but there are six different shades which is fantastic. I don't know if these are all new or if this one's new. I don't even know if this is super new or not. I just hadn't tried it yet and it looks like it has four and a half out of five stars with 18 reviews and that's fantastic. It feels really nice and light. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Also, by the way, I just realized I didn't address like, hello, I added something to my eyes. This is just that Huda nude I was talking about. And I took this shade and I think I maybe mixed it with, I think it was this purple right here. It was either this purple or this pink, but I mixed it with one of them and I just applied it through the crease and then I figured I would also take this highlight and pat it on top just so everything matches. But let's go ahead and apply this highlight to my face. Nice little concentrated circle moment. Ooh! Okay, okay, okay! For me, this product just is not smooth enough to warrant something that I would put on my face every day. And that's just really where it sits for me. Like, yes, it does have a beautiful, like, to it on camera especially I think it's really nice but the reality is for the texture it's adding to my face I'm gonna have a really difficult time fixing that and when you combine it with the texture I'm getting from all their other glowy stuff it's just like mm, it's a lot okay so I need to spray my face again because I'm not kidding you that powder has me looking all sorts of crack cocaine like right up under the eyes girl it's not pretty so I'm gonna go in here with my Florence by Mills spray 
Help! I need somebody. Help! I need some moisture. For mascara, I'm going in actually with the Mascara Revolution from Makeup Revolution. And this is something I've talked about several times on my channel. So I'm just going to apply a couple coats of that and move on. Moving on to the last item we have here, which is lips. This is their $6 sheer lip. And basically it says that this is for anyone that wants a gloss that is packed full of pigment. It delivers buildable color, allowing you to easily switch from a sheer wash of color to a statement glaze. And that's like something that is so right up my alley. Now I did pick this up in two colors. I have the brown neutral, which is in sheer vow. And then I have a pink neutral, which is in sheer ballerina. And here are the two colors. I'm actually kind of impressed. This is the sheer ballerina, the pink one. And then right here is sheer vow. I think those are both really pretty. Um, I'm going to go in with this one. This is sheer ballerina. Okay. So with it on and applied guys, I have to be honest, I don't hate this at all. I feel like it definitely does have a sweeter scent to it. So if you don't like that, if you prefer something more mentholated or plumping or something along those lines, you will not like this at all, but I don't hate the color. I think it went on and applied nicely. It does have a slightly thicker consistency though. Um, but when you apply it, that kind of dissipates and it doesn't give me any weird like stick or tack or anything like it's completely normal. It just settled right down, and I am not mad at that. With that being done, you guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think of the products that I tried? I think overall, on camera, I think it looks pretty good, but let's just go ahead and talk about these products just a little bit. If I'm being honest, and let's be real here, I only have one speed, and it is dead ahead honesty. I don't think that much of anything that I touched today I ever want to touch again. Um, I don't think the primers were bad. I think the hydrating one I like more than the pore filling one or pore blurring one, so I would probably try the hydrating one again. I would play with these glosses again. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like there wasn't anything. Oh, the liquid blushes. I do like the liquid blushes as well. Those I would play with, but literally everything else, like on a powder side, whether it's this loose stuff right here, the bronzer, the blush, like I did not like any of that. I don't like the way it emphasized my texture. I don't like this weird flashback thing. I don't like any of it, honey. No, thank you. Um, so those are kind of my thoughts. Like it's a real quick, easy roundup when you hate almost everything. So what do you guys think? What are your thoughts and opinions? Have have you tried any of this for the love of God? Do you know how to make these eye things work? Leave me all of your thoughts down below. I would love, love to hear from you. But most importantly, you guys, please do not forget, subscribe and turn your post notifications to this here YouTube channel if you have not done so yet. I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. You guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. I like primers. Yes, I do. I like primers. How about you? Ooh. All right. <laughs> oh, <that>? All right. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. I don't wanna. Ah, uh, you both. You both ate dollars. You both ate dollars. That's so good. It's wonderful. I like primer. <laughs> foundation, foundation. You can make me. Rude. I feel like I hear the dog and she's gonna start crying as soon as I film. It's really gonna cause a problem.